So today I will guide you through the minute of vinyasa flow and uh, we will go ahead and start in uh, child's pose. So bring your toes to touch, open your knees wide to the side, start moving your fingertips forward, ground your forehead down and slowly start turning your attention and attention inward. Maybe mentally scan your body. And start observing your breath. Start being mindful of the way you're breathing. And activate that dawn of breathing with every inhale. Expand your belly wide. Feel that your belly presses into your thighs. And with every exhale, flatten your belly. Create space. And maybe sit deeper in your stretch. Gently roll your forehead from side to side. Very good. From here, we'll shift to neutral tabletop position. So go ahead, stack your shoulders over your wrists, move your feet at hip with distance, stack your hips above your knees. And we'll take a couple of cats and cows here. So listen up, keep your neck long, uh, your heart initiates the movement. On next inhale, drop your belly down, start reaching your heart up and forward. Allow your head and neck to follow your heart here. No hinge at the back of your neck. On exhale, round down. Press away from the neck. Look at your belly button. Very good. Breathe in and heal. Tail going up. Start reaching your heart up and forward. Feel nice, juicy stretch in your abs here. On exhale, round down. Press away from the neck. Feel how long is your spine here. Your head is relaxed. Inhale, start reaching your heart up and forward. Stretch your abs. One more time, round down. And from here, come to neutral tabletop position. From here, we'll shift into puppy dog pose. So keep your hips stacked above your knees. Start moving your fingertips forward. We'll shift into puppy dog position. Bring your forehead to the floor and press your heart towards your thighs. And continue being mindful how you breathe. Also observe alignment of your body. Puppy dog prepares us for down dog position further on. Observe that your spine is straight here. You are perfectly folded from the hinge of the hips. Your tailbone is tilted upward. Very good. While you're in papa dog position, go ahead, bring your left arm under your right. So thread it under your right arm. Bring your left cheek to the floor. Keep your hips centered. Relax, relax, relax. Keep your spine long here.
Very good. From here, let's switch sides. Bring the opposite arm. So bring your right arm under your left. Bring your right chin to the floor. And once again, just stay here. We're just shifting into gentle twist. Also shoulder stretch. Keep your hips clear. Very good. From here, bring your left palm closer to your hand. Shift to neutral tabletop position. Keep your spine straight. Activate your core here. Activate your belly. Go ahead, tuck your toes in. And invert the down dog position. Start tilting your tailbone up in the sky. Set your gaze in between your legs. And press away from the mat. Very good. Go ahead, get on your tippy toes here. Tailbone up, press your heart towards your thighs. And gently release. Pedal your feet here. You can move from side to side. Very good. On next inhale, reach your right leg up in the sky. Bend your right knee, step your hips one on top of another, keep your shoulders squared. So feel same amount of pressure in both of your palms and you're pressing away from the mat. Release your right leg down. Inhale, left leg goes up in the sky, breathe in. Bend your left knee, step your hips one on top of another, Keep your shoulders squared. Keep reaching your left knee higher. Very good. Release your left leg down. Walk to your hands one step at a time. Mm -hmm. Bring your feet at hip with distance. Go ahead, catch opposite elbows. And we'll come into red dog pose. Allow your head to hang heavy here. Go ahead, swing from side to side. You can shake your head here. Nod your head. And feel how grounded your heels are here. Do not grab the floor with your toes. Allow your body to hang heavy here. Very good. From here, release your hands. And start unfolding one vertebra at a time. We'll come to mountain pose. Your head comes fast. Very good. Tall mountain, inhale, reach up. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, hands to heart center. Tall mountain, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Toe mountain, reach up. Bring your hands behind your head. Open up your elbows wide to the side. Relax your shoulders down. And we'll start opening up our heart here. Remember, alignment is the key. So make sure your weight is on your heels. Tuck your pelvis in. And keep your hips locked with your rib cage. Very good. On next inhale, start reaching your heart up while tucking your pelvis in. Keep your neck long here. Exhale, chin to chest fold. Let's do it again. Keep your pelvis tucked in. Keep your core active, shoulders relaxed down. Start reaching your heart up. Keep your neck long here. Exhale, chin to chest fold. One more time, inhale. Start reaching your heart up. Open up your elbows wide. Relax your shoulders down. Elongate your neck. On exhale, chin to chest. Fold. 
One more time, start reaching your elbows out, relax your shoulders down, come to center and release, very good. So from here, move your feet at hip width distance, let's warm, up. let's warm up our hips, start rotating your hips in circles, keep your spine straight, weight is on your heels, and keep your core engaged here. So the reason why we engage our belly, so when we slide from one side to another, we don't collapse all of our body weight on one side. It's all being balanced in your core. So continue rotating your hips. Let's switch direction, go in opposite direction. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Mindful movement. Very good. Two more circles. One more. Come to center and we will flow. Very good. Tall mountain, reach up, inhale. Exhale, fold from the hinge of the hips. Surrender your head. Inhale, half lift. Activate your core. Tailbone is tilted towards the back. Core is active, long back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, allow your core to initiate the movement, your chest, neck, and head follow. On exhale, bring your hands to the floor, come to high plank. When you come to high plank, stack. Very good. So check with your tailbone if it's sticking out, tuck your pelvis in, so draw your hips towards your ribcage. Very good. Inhale, lower down, low plank. You can always bring your knees to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog. Invert, down dog position. Find your breath. Press your heart towards your thighs. Inhale. On exhale, bend to your knees. Step or jump at the top of the mat. Very good. Breathe in. Half lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Tall mountain. Reach up. Exhale. Bow from the hinge of the hips. Inhale. Half lift. Long spine. On exhale. Hands to the floor. Chaturanga Dandasana. So go to low plank. Upward facing dog, push your heart forward, set your gaze in front of you, exhale, down dog position. Find your breath, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose. Feel your body here. Feel your spine being elongated, bend to your knees, step or jump at the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Tall mountain, rise up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, half lift. Long neck. Crown of the head is tilted forward. Exhale, hands to the floor. Vinyasa, go to low plank. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog position. Breathe, breathe, breathe here. Press your heart towards your thighs. Back to your knees, step or jump at the top of the mat. Half lift, fold. And from here, we chop to tall mountain. Very good, so tall mountain, we chop. We will transition to chair pose. So go ahead, come to half lift. Mm -hmm. Start bending your knees. Stack your knees over your ankles. Your weight is on your heels. Go ahead, tuck your pelvis in. Relax your shoulders down. Find your breath. 
relax your forehead down, reach your arms higher, bring them by your ears, and lower down in your chair one more inch. Activate your core, take one more deep breath in, on exhale, fold. Half left, long spine, hands to the floor, chaturanga, low plank, upward facing dog, exhale, down dog position, very good, find your breath, from here bend both of your knees, reach your right leg up in the sky, keep your left knee bent, bring your right foot all the way forward, ground your left heel down, so square your hips here, straighten your spine, reach up to warrior one, right side, relax your shoulders down, tap your pelvis in, find your breath, keep squeezing your belly in here, keep squaring your hips, squaring your shoulders, Breathe, breathe, breathe here. Very good. So from here we'll come to airplane pose and warrior one. Bring your hands to your sit bones. Keep your spine straight. Keep your neck long. Reach up warrior one. Exhale airplane. One more time, reach up, warrior one. On exhale, hands to the floor, vinyasa, high plank. Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog position. So let's do it on the left side. Bend both of your knees, reach your left leg up in the sky. With control. Bring your left foot all the way forward. Ground your right heel down, square the hips, straighten your spine, reach up warrior one, left side. Find your breath, keep your hips squared. So if keeping a square, a hip square is challenging, you can always move your back foot to the side of the mat. That allows you more space to square your hips. Keep your core engaged. Breathe here. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Very good. So from here we'll shift into airplane. Once again, activate your core. Keep your knees stacked. Inhale. On exhale, airplane. Spine straight. Keep going. Exhale. Inhale. Let's do it one more time. Hands to your sit bones, spine straight, inhale, reach up. On exhale, hands to the floor, vinyasa, come to high plank. Lower down, low plank, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog position. Find your breath. Reset and rest in down dog position. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. On breath out, bend your knees, step or jump at the top of the mat. Inhale, half left. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half left, hands to the floor, chaturanga, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog position. Bend both of your knees, reach your right leg up in the sky. 
Bring your right foot all the way forward. Very good, stay low. Reach up, warrior one. Mm -hmm. Find your breath, tuck your pelvis in here, square your hips, square your shoulders, bring your hands to your heart center. Go ahead, pivot both of your toes in. Heels out, come to wide-legged stand. Tuck your pelvis in here. Open your arms wide to the side. Do not move your upper body. Start pivoting your right toes to the front of the mat. Keep your upper body centered. Start bending your right knee. Step it over your right ankle. Set your gaze at your right hand. Warrior two, right side. And we'll be here for five breaths. Mindful breathing. Even though we're standing still, the pose itself is very active. You're continuing to tuck your pelvis in. You're drawing your shoulders down away from your ears. Keep your shoulders locked in the back. Keep your neck long here. And front knee stacked over your ankle. Very good. On next inhale, reach your right arm up, reverse. Your core is moving your upper body, your hips stay where they were, and your knees stacked. Exhale, elbow to your knee, extended side angle, lengthen. Very good, inhale, reverse. Exhale, elbow to your knee. Reverse warrior, reach up. And from here, we'll shift with you to balance. So come halfway up, ground your right foot, start hinging from the hinge of the hip, and we'll shift into half moon. You keep your core active. You can set your gaze, whoops, you can set your gaze up. And you don't have to go all the way down. You can just be here, but feel the angle. You're folding from the hinge of the hip. Very good. Shift to warrior two. Reverse warrior reach up. Come back to warrior two. And from here, heart roll your hands to the floor. Vinyasa, low plank, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog position. Very good. From here, reach your left leg up in the sky. With control, bring your left foot all the way forward. I'm going to change the angle here. Ground down. Straighten your spine. Reach up to warrior one. Tuck your pelvis in. Bring your hands to your heart center. Go ahead, pivot both of your toes in, heels out, tuck your pelvis in, open your arms wide to the side, do not move your upper body, start pivoting your left toes to the front of the mat, bring your left knee over your left ankle, very good, set your gaze at your left hand, your upper body is squared. Shoulders relax down. Five breaths here. Mentally continue scanning your body. Feel straight line in your spine. Feel how long is your neck here. Continue drawing your shoulders down. On exhale, elbow to your knee. Extended side angle. Very good. Reverse warrior, reach up. Front knees bent. Exhale, elbow to your knee. One more time, reverse. Bring your hands to warrior two position. And from here, we'll shift into half moon. Do not rush here. Come halfway up. Feel your hips are squared, your arms are in warrior two alignment. From here, start shifting weight on your left 
lap. Start folding from the hinge of the hip. And find your, find your depth for today. You don't have to go low. Figure out where you are for today. Play with your gaze. Breathe here. Very good. With control, shift to warrior two. Reverse warrior reach up. On exhale, cartwheel your hands to the floor. Transition through your core vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Invert down dog position. Very good. Press your heart towards your thighs. From here, bend your knees, step a jump at the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. So from here, we will take a twist. It's all twists are detoxing, so make sure you're doing it thoroughly. And you're doing it at the right place. So bring your hands to your heart center. Make sure you're shifting your hips towards the back. Your heels are supporting all of your body weight. Spine is straight. So if your tailbone is sticking out, tuck it in. On next inhale, expand your belly wide. Breathe in. On exhale, start flattening your belly and twist. To the right. So go ahead, tuck your left elbow to your right knee and twist. With every inhale, expand your belly wide. With every exhale, flatten, twist even more. You gotta start sweating here. Keep your hips squared, keep your knees. Press one into another. Breathe, breathe, breathe here. Take one more deep breath in. And on exhale, fold. Very good. Move your feet at hip with distance. Go ahead, catch your toes with your point fingers. So make sure you're pulling your toes upward. Press your heels down. Tailbone up in the sky. Allow your head to hang heavy. Open up your elbows wide. And just relax here. Relax, relax, relax. Tailbone up. Pull your toes upward. Press your heels down. Giving your outer body very nice, juicy stretch here. Very good. Release your toes. Toe heel your feet together, come to half lift, long spine, exhale, fold, chair pose, inhale. From here, bring your hands to your heart center. So once again, breathing is important in all twisting positions. It's not only about twisting, it's about creating internal compression with your breath. Inhale, expand your belly wide. On exhale, start flattening and twist to the left. Tap your right elbow to your left knee. Keep your hips squared. Take a twist. Inhale, expand your belly wide. Exhale, flatten and twist more. Breathe in, expand. Exhale, flatten and twist more. Take one more deep breath in. On exhale, fold, release. Move your feet at hip with distance. Very good, go ahead, tuck your hands under your feet. Go ahead, press your toes into your wrists. Allow the head to hang heavy. And tailbone up to the sky. Relax, relax, relax. Very good. Relax, relax, relax. Very good. From here, release your hands. 
Toe heel your feet together and we will unfold to standing one vertebra at a time. Hand comes last. Very good. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Warmed up. Um, we also call it the first part of the practice of suffering stage where you're growing and you're expanding, you're sweating obviously. All right, so from here, now your body is prepared. Let's shift into balance. Toe mount and reach up and heel. Bring your right arm under, right leg over. Keep your hips squared. Keep your elbows locked. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Tap your pelvis in. And just stay here. Keep your core activated. Keep locking your shoulders in the back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. To modify the position, you can always give yourself a tight hug. Make sure your right arm is under. And you can always keep your right foot on the floor. Release. Toe mount and reach up and heel. Eagle on the left. Bring your left arm under. Left leg over. Tuck your pelvis in. Relax your shoulders down. So by tucking your pelvis in, you're shifting your weight onto your supporting heel. Keep your core active. Squeeze with every breath. Try to deepen your pose. Try to explore a new sensation while you're holding. Maybe lock your shoulders in the back more. Or maybe activate your core. Relax your forehead. Relax your jaw. Very good. Release. Let's take eagle on the right. Inhale. Bring your left arm under. Left leg over. So choose your variation, modify, modify as needed. Keep locking your shoulders in the back. Breathe here. Eagle pose is important. Position, and it comes at this stage of the practice for a reason. Once your body is warmed up and balanced, eagle pose actually activates the synchronization of both sides of your brain. When you synchronize both sides of your brain, um, you are performing at optimal level. It's also equals to meditative state. Go ahead, release. Tone mount and reach up and heel. Eagle on the left. Bring your left arm under, left leg over. Mm -hmm. Find your position, set your gaze at one point. Relax your shoulders down. Activate your elbows. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Very good. Relax, relax, relax. Mm -hmm. Very good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Mm -hmm. Very good. Go ahead and release. All right. From here, we'll shift with you to three pose. Mm -hmm. Toe mount and reach up and heel. And from here, start shifting your right leg to the back. Keep your hips squared, spine straight, very good. Keep your core active, we're almost there. Mm -hmm. Completing our warrior series here. Very good. Come to standing as a straight line, release. And let's shift to the other side. Reach both of your arms up. Start reaching your left leg up, square your hips. Very good. And once again, you don't have to be parallel to the floor, you can just be here. Just maintain straight line from the heel all the way down to your fingertips. Come to standing and relax. All right, from here, let's take three pose. Bring your right foot anywhere but your knee. You can be on the floor, below the knee, or above the knee. So find where you are for today, square your hips, bring your hands to your heart center, stabilize at heart level, keep your neck long, and when you're ready, grow your branches. Very good. And 
Tree Pose is all about self-trust. You've been working all practice to build experience, to grow, to feel your body. You were getting to know your body, and now it's all about trusting your body. Relax. So let's do it on the other side. Bring your left foot anywhere but your knees. You can be on the floor, below the knee, or above the knee. Mm -hmm. Once again, find your stability. Bring your hands to your heart center. And when you're ready, grow your branches up. Find your breath here. And actually tap into the feeling of trusting yourself. Just being, not judging yourself. Just being, feeling your body. Very good, slowly release. And we'll come to final pose, Samastidihi, full body alignment. So go ahead, move your feet at hip with distance, tap your pelvis in. Bring your hands to your heart center, draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Keep your neck long, and let's start. Close your eyes and start breathing here. Feel energy centered around your heart. Very good. So in yoga, there is a belief when you align your body fully in any position, you do get enlightened. What I mean by that, when your body is stacked correctly, fully aligned, there are no obstacles restrictions or resistance within your body. So your energy, blood flow, anything within you flows freely. Just feel it. Also observe you're standing with your eyes closed, but there is no element of fear because your body is intelligent. It knows what feels right. Observe it, feel it, maybe feel energy around your heart center, and feel centered. Very good. And when you are ready, gently and slowly go ahead and open your eyes. And your yoga practice is complete. So I hope you were moving more intentionally and you were more mindful of your breathing and um, the truth is that is the key. Breath and intention, that's what makes a meaningful yoga practice. Without those two, it's just a set of movement, it's just blah, that's what I call it. And I encourage you to practice and to get in your body on a daily basis. Um, it's only 20 to 30 minutes that you invest in yourself where you align and where you allow life to operate through you without your thoughts. Uh, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.